Hello, loved ones. Thank you for joining me today. And if you're new to the channel, then welcome to the family. Today, we're going to be reviewing Married at First Sight Season 15 After Party Episode 4. We love reviewing the after party because we learned so much about the episode and the couples. It's just an extension of enjoying Married at First Sight. So please be part of the congregation by subscribing and be part of the conversation by commenting. I want to know what you have to say. So please comment and subscribe. And with that, let's get started. Welcome to Fuel by Intentions, where we talk about faith, family, finances, fitness, and fun. Sponsored by Bynum's Business Solutions, where the right fit is made simple. We specialize in tips, tools, and strategies designed to help you achieve your financial health so that you can take control of how you spend your money so that you can spend more time with your family, friends, and doing the things you love. So let's jump right into the video. The episode is hosted, of course, by Keisha Knight Fullman, and her guests are Nate, Morgan, and Alexis. And she gets the party started by asking Alexis about her look and what is channeling her look, because she just has like this covering on her face. She's looking very matronly like, and hey, Alexis dives right into it. Alexis says, this is how she pictured herself as being a wife, super dramatic, going to PTA meetings, looking for her children. And Keisha Knight Pullman, she makes sure, wait, so you're gonna be a mother because if you're going to PTA meetings and you have kids, then you're gonna be a mom. But it sounds like Alexis is taking it all in and she's definitely okay with that. So we find out that Alexis is not opposed to having children and I guess sometime soon. The episode and the cocktail is called Wet and Wow. And she tells us that it's in honor of Stasia and Nate's steamy shower episode. We then go to our first clip. And our first clip is with Ben and Morgan. And this is Morgan's first time on the after party. So welcome to the after party, Morgan. And it shows the clip of Mor them, the pastor telling Morgan that Ben is there's another woman in Ben's life and it's his, he's a proud mama's boy and he values his opi the opinion of his mom on everything. But Morgan says that she loves that he is a mama's boy because she loves her mom and she has a great relationship with her mom and she really did appreciate that. Morgan says that she's a pretty guarded person. She's going to be open to all the possibilities and try to be accepting because he is a complete stranger. Keisha then asked the question, did you have a close relationship growing up with her dad? And she lets us know that she didn't, that her mom was her rock, but she really didn't have a relationship with her dad. Keisha says, what is your first thoughts when you see Ben for the very first time? Morgan says that she sees that Ben has a huge smile, which tells her that he is a happy person. He looked amazing in his suit and he is her type. She would choose him if she just saw him out in a club or partying or somewhere out that she would choose him. So I really love that she has that attraction. Nate says that Ben and Morgan, they look good together. They look like they have chemistry and he is rooting for them. And then Alexis says that Ben and Morgan look like the stock photo in a picture frame. And I thought that was a nice compliment. They then show clip number two, and it is where Ben and Morgan are talking after they just got married. And Morgan is trying to explain to Ben what she does in terms of Mai Tai and what is, and he's like, is it kickboxing? Is it wrestling? Like, kind of like, what is it? Is it Jitsu? Jitsu? And she is telling him that it is not wrestling, it's not kickboxing, that you cannot fight them when they're on the ground, but she can kick them, she can hit them, and she can wrestle them down to the ground. She just can't do anything to them when they're on the ground. And I love Ben, he says, no, she says, I will, I can do that. He said, you can do that? She says, yeah, I can do that to you right now. And he says, oh, I'll keep in mind. Now, I don't think that anybody would want their wife or whatever husband either to tell them that they could do the kick them to the ground right now hopefully you wouldn't want to do that to your spouse but i love his answer he says i'll keep that in mind 
Keisha then makes a point about the women in this season that they're very strong, independent, and powerful women and asks her if she thinks that Ben will be able to handle her. And she says she hopes so because they're married now. She says she usually dates alpha men, men who are like take control when something happens to her car, but she's gonna make a go at it and see how it goes with Ben because he does not seem like he is the alpha type. Also, she said that maybe this will be a good pairing because she's kind of alpha, the people that she dates kind of alpha, so maybe they kind of bump heads and this will be more of a balance between the two. So she is excited to see how it's gonna go with Ben. Nate then says Ben can definitely keep up with Morgan. He's open-minded, goal-oriented, and he's accommodating. Therefore, they will make challenges work. And Alexis says that her and Morgan, they're kind of similar and they're both spicy. So it's typical for a person to either fight or flight. So she's interested to see which one Ben chooses. They then show the third clip, which is Stasia and Nate talking the day after their wedding. And Nate is telling us that he, when he moved to the States, he was, he encountered kids who were savages, which is very interesting word to use because there was a lot of talk about him, him, him being mixed and if he's light or if he's dark or where he fits in. And that made him have a complex. And Stasia says that she has dealt with that as well. We know that they do look similar. And Keisha pointed that out saying, hey, don't you realize how similar like you look? He says that him and Stasia have only been married for one day, but they already have a deep connection and deep level with one another. He can, he then says that they have a lot of chemistry and that he is loving it. He feels good about their deep conversation. He likes that it's not an awkward silence and they've had pillow talk and held hands and went to sleep cuddling after the ceremony is what they did. And things feel natural on day one. He is very thankful for that. Keisha then mentions him selling knockoff bags. And he says that he used to sell knockoff designer stuff and he would post things online and then pull up and I guess people would buy them. But that experience made him understand that he is an entrepreneur and he has a hustle mindset. He discovered that he needed to course correct and that it had to be legit. He will definitely, it was definitely a learning experience, but every chapter in life is a lesson for him. He is all about self-improvement and he never looks back. And I think that this has been his consistent and I love Keisha, she actually complimented him saying that, you know, some people just want you to see him, their highlight reel. So the fact that he has allowed us to see a little deeper into his background, that that's great. I agree with that. I agree with that. Like, it's not all about your highlight reel. Sometimes it's about the journey that got you there. So I'm very proud of him that he wasn't embarrassed or afraid to share that he has led us in to his life and helping us understand how he became the man that he is today. Morgan says that she loves that Nate took a really big lesson from that, but it also showed him what he was good at and he is extremely successful and he has a successful career. And it shows you that you can take a lesson and grow from it. And I thought that was a great discussion, great conversation, definitely a great conversation, something that we can all pull from in our personal lives. Keisha then asked both Morgan and Alexis, what do they think about Nate and Stasia? Morgan says that she loves how they came from similar backgrounds and they had similar childhoods, but it's really amazing how everything that they've been through made them the successful people that they are today. She thinks that they are a perfect match. Alexis says that they are a power couple and their personalities will balance each other out. Nate informs us that when the cameras went away, they talked till about 3.30 in the morning and then they just fell asleep. He confirms that Stasia did not sleep with her eyes open on the first night. Keisha then touched on his friends saying that he was a freak in the sheets on the wedding night. And he says he does not know where he got that from. He then threw his friend under the bus and says he thinks it came from his friend Derek. And the girls were like, well, how would Derek know? How would Derek know that? But I felt like he was denying it and saying that that was not true. And he really did not know kind of how that conversation or where that came up. And I think that that's consistent with his reaction at the wedding when he looked like, where'd you guys get that from? 
They then show the clip of Alexis talking to Kara and Justin's mom. And it's where Kara is saying, hey, what are you gonna do in this relationship? Because it's not fun all the time. Something times things are just boring and you can't just get up, run and leave. And Alexis indicates that she is tired of running, she is tired of leaving, and that she is just gonna have to sit in the uncomfortable. And she's okay with that now because you learn so much from being uncomfortable. And I totally agree with that. Marriage is not fun all the time. And sometimes you just gotta sit in being uncomfortable. Alexis gives us a little more insight on that situation. She says that she remembered Kara because Kara sat in the back. And so when she came in, when she walked in on her wedding day, when she was getting married, that Kara is the first face that she saw. And Kara was really smiling and just really excited. And so she felt comfortable sitting down when she's like, oh, that's Kara. That's the smiling face lady that I saw during the wedding. And then when she kind of started asking her questions, she was like, oh my God, like, you know, where is this coming from? She tells us that Kara is a friend of Justin, that she's married to Justin's best friend, Roman. So that is the connection in terms of Kara and Justin. She said that she was appreciative of the advice that they were giving, but that she was gonna take it lightly, that she can't learn by everybody telling her how it should be. She will just have to experience it for herself. She appreciates the input, but they don't know Justin as a husband. And I totally agree with that because, you know, so many people make insights or comments about your marriage and they don't know what's going on in your marriage because they don't know that person as a husband or a wife. So I thought that that was really good. Take in the information, but you have to evaluate it yourself. And people are different. People are different as a friend and in relationships. So that's just, that's who we are. We're gonna treat our friends and our mate differently because it's a different type of relationship. So kudos to Alexis. I, I do love the family conversations, but I do feel like that is just where the rubber meets the road is that the person is a different person in a relationship than they are in a friendship or in a family dynamic. They then show us the clip of Nate getting emotional while talking to Stasia's family. And he says that he learned a lot from his dad, that his dad is not a quitter. It wasn't easy, but he did a lot for him. So I really love that Nate is appreciating the hard work from his dad. He said that in that moment, he felt that he was being authentic and real. And when he started crying, he thought, I can't even keep it together. But the family was understanding and he felt it was a genuine connection with the family. They then go to the clip where Justin is talking about when he wakes up, he is in a state of emotional arousal. And Keisha asked, Alexis, how she felt about that conversation. And she says that it was uncomfortable to be in an audience and have your man talk about his manhood. He should then ask Alexis if she's attracted to Justin. And she says that she entered this experiment open to the fact that there may be somebody who is not her type. In that moment, she is getting with the program. He is not her type and he, but he's her husband. She says that Justin pursued her on Hinge and he was annoying. He then contacted her on Instagram and she turned him down. She feels like this was a sick joke. But then she just said that God is trying to tell her something and she is going to move on with the program. So I'm really glad that she has an open attitude about it, even though she turned Justin down. But now we see why he is so enamored by her because he has been longing for this. He wanted her, he's pursued her on his own. So actually to get married to somebody that you pursue, I'm sure that is very exciting. Morgan then chimes in and tells us that her and Ben on the airplane ride, it sounded like on the way over, they were trying to figure out who was matched with who since Ben knew the guys and she knew the girls, but they only got Alexis and Justin Wright, and that was only because of height. But I'm kind of confused about that. So who did they match with who? Like, I think that all the other matches would make sense because I feel like the people that you would get wrong would be Ben and Morgan, because you would think that Morgan would be matched with Miguel, 
and you would think that Ben would be matched with Stasia. But after you match them together, then I feel like the other ones are kind of easy to figure out. We then get to the steamy clip where Nate is telling Stasia, hey, we can take a shower together in order to save water. And Stasia lets us know, hey, I'm not opposed to taking a shower, but it's definitely not to save water. I love the interaction with this. Keisha says, did you all not know that the cameras were rolling? And he says they were flowing in the moment, they had a couple of drinks, and they forgot. He did give a shout out to Mitch and said, hey, he had influence on them in order to save water. Nate could not say what happened after the cameras left, but I think say, not saying what happened after the cameras left is saying what happened after the cameras left. But they definitely got to know each other a little bit better, which if the cameras left, you can't say, but you said you got to know each other a little bit better. I think you're saying without saying. He says it looks hotter than it was. It was more like them exploring each other and they are starting to get more comfortable around each other, which I'm sure after that, you should be very comfortable around each other. And it was just a hot makeout session. And then it got a little steamy after the cameras left. Keisha then asked Morgan and Alexis if they are comfortable with the cameras being around. And Morgan says it's weird. She is not that type of person to want all the attention on her 24 seven. So it is very weird having all those people focused on her all the time. And Alexa says that she gets to know the people behind the camera. So that if she's not thinking about the camera, she's thinking that's just that person that she knows. Keisha then asks, what is their physical connection with their spouse? And what are they looking forward to? And Morgan says there is definitely a spark of something happening. It's a really good foundation for something to grow. She wants one-on-one -on -one time with her husband. They have had a whirlwind of a marriage and they're trying to get to Mexico. So she is ready to stop and breathe and really sit with her husband and really be able to talk to him. Alexis says she feels a connection and enjoying the honeymoon. She is looking forward to see how Justin interacts with others. She thinks that that's more telling than when you have alone time. And Nate says that he just wants to be in the moment and just get to know stuff about Stasia. He says this is a good window for them to connect on a deeper level and he is ready to have some fun. They then give us a sneak peek of next week's episode and they show Kristen saying, I know this is crazy, but I wouldn't say I'm sexually frustrated. This is like our third date that would be wild, but I definitely would be comfortable advancing more in the physical sexual department. And Mitch says, I wish I felt a little bit more of that because it's just not quite there for me right now. Oh my God, Mitch turns Kristen down for more intimacy. That's very unusual, but I don't know. He said some things in this episode that I think is on par with his personality. So we'll see what happens next week. What did you think? What did you think about the after party? Do you think Wet and Wild was a good name for it? What did you think about the look of Alexis? What did you think about meeting Morgan and how she feels about Ben and that she has no problem with him being a mama's boy? And what do you think about Nate? Do you think him and Stasia are to a great start and that they will make it into the end? Please let us know what you think by joining the conversation in the comment section below. Well, that's all for now. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, live with intention. Be intentional.